you should contact your supplier when you move to a new property to set up an account in your name. It's important to make sure that you, there is no um, extra charges on there, uh, that the previous owner had paid all the bills. Probably the benefits of switching suppliers is to save money. It's not easy for prepayment meter customers to switch supplier because there's just very few deals and certainly no good deals out there. Well sometimes some of them are cheaper. You have to just find what suits you, what's the cheapest for you, what will work for your own situation. When moving into a new home, there are many things to think about. Who supplies your energy and how much you pay can make a big difference to your costs. This section will help you understand what you need to do to contact your supplier and find the best deal. What happened, like, you know, I moved to my new house. I was, I was like a new mom. I didn't know that I was supposed to call when I moved in. I just left it. I was using up the electricity. The bill was just going. When you move into a new property, consumers should contact their energy supplier to make sure a new account's been set up in their name and to request a new card or key for the meter. By using a previous tenant's card or key, you might find you're paying for their debt without realising it. If you've been paying on somebody else's card and making payments to their debt, then you need to contact the supplier and let them know, and also keep any receipts for any payments that you do make to ensure that that can be credited to your account. If you're having problems finding out who supplies your gas and electricity, you can contact the Citizens Advice Consumer Service Helpline on 03454 040506. If there is a prepay meter at the property when you move in, but you'd rather pay by another method, you may be able to change. Energy suppliers have different processes for changing to other payment methods. Some suppliers charge a cost for exchanging the meter or require a security deposit. If you have debt on your meter, you might not be able to change how you pay until you've paid this off. Talk to your supplier to find out their process and check for any related costs. If you're a pensioner or if you uh, have a long-term health condition or if you're registered disabled, including with uh, problems with your hearing or your sight, um, you should contact your supplier and they'll be able to give you some extra help. But if the meter just really doesn't suit you, if you can't use it, then it can be removed. Contact the supplier, get some help, have the meter removed or have it recited. You can often save money by switching either tariff or supplier. Uh, you might also want to switch if you're not happy with the service you're receiving from your current supplier. Um, and for customers uh, who are low energy users, you might also want to look for a supplier who offers a tariff where the standing charge is combined with the unit price. To find out what the best deal is, you should really use an independent price comparison website and the regulator Ofgem runs an accreditation scheme. One of the other things that you should check when you're um, changing gas and electricity supplier is whether or not you're eligible for the warm home discount which gives um, customers £140 a year off their bill, so that's always worth checking as well. The Debt Assignment Protocol is a new name given to the process designed to help prepayment customers switch suppliers even if they are in debt. You can still switch energy companies when you are on prepayment if your debt is 500 or less per fuel. This is only for suppliers signed up to the Debt Assignment Protocol. I like prepayment now compared to before when I first moved in. The money is run out and uh, I don't even know when that emergency money is in there and it just ran out and middle of the night I found out like there's no credit left so it was a bit of a nightmare. A few months later then I realised how it works and everything so it's better now. 